Hi, and welcome to the Magic Academy. Today I'm doing an unboxing for my Giantex uh, portable washing machine for my apartment. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back. I just thought you guys might want to um, check out my portable washing machine. Maybe somebody out there might be in the market for one. And um, I was. I absolutely needed a washing machine for my apartment that doesn't have washer and dryer hookups. This is portable, so it will use a sink or a bathtub um, faucets. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it right now and get, let you guys take a look. Okay, so it is very lightweight. Okay. Pretty excited about that. Um, let's get into this. I did purchase this on Amazon.com. I will put a link to the seller in the description below. Okay, so here's the top of it. Oh, awesome. Pretty easy. So pretty much it's just pull it out of the box and, and um, we'll see if, what other kind of necessities that we'll need for hooking it up. Okay, so this is it. <laughs> um, this is the washer side, the larger area, which is on the left um, when you're facing it. And then this is the, the spin cycle. So it does have a washing and a spin cycle. This will hold 13 and a half pounds total. So this side is like seven pounds and this side will be like um, six pounds. Since it's, you have to leave a couple items in here if you do it full. Um, you can't do this one as full as you do the washer. Okay. We'll remove some of this protective plastic, which is nice to have on there. I love that. It's very satisfying removing the protective plastic, isn't it? Oh, did you see that? Watch this. So it has a little bit of a, a, um, a grab to the lid, so it opens it for you a little bit. That's awesome. Same on this side, and there's a little bit of a lip right, right here in the front. A little bit of a lip, so you can get your hand in there. I've got some vouchers and discounts that come with it and directions. Um, here's, that's great. Look at that. Okay, so just, we'll get to that in a second. Let's see what vouchers I got. Huh? <laughs> okay, discount. $5 voucher on orders over $68 on Costway.com because I guess that is the supplier for this is Costway.com. But they do have an eBay listing for all of these. Um, so that's awesome. I got myself a little voucher. And here's the manual. Okay. So, uh, thank you for purchasing our fine product, warranty, um, and then here's the washing machine. Okay, so let me give you a good look at the directions here. Okay, so it's going to show you um, all the parts of the washer. This, again, is the washing side of the tub, and this is the spin cycle, okay, that gets your clothes wrung out for you so you don't have to wring them out by hand. It tells you what kind of outlets that it uses, which it does use a normal outlet. Um, and then of course it tells you safeguards. Wash notice, so I guess this tells you the weight of certain kinds of clothing. So it gives you a guideline of, you know, how much something will weigh when it's wet for the washer, like how many of each item you can put in there. And then this side tells you like how many minutes for what you're doing. Um, and a little guide right up above that. So I'll probably print that. 
and laminate it for my son. Um, and it has a little lint collector in there as well, so that's great. And just a lot more directions about it. So it's a great little pamphlet. Um, pretty much will answer all the questions you have in that pamphlet um, to get you started. On the side over here, you have your outlet and your hose. This will be your drainage hose. Okay, do you see how it comes out the bottom here? This is your drainage hose. Both the washer and the spin cycle hook up to this drainage hose on the bottom, so each one will drain straight out of this hose. When you're not using it, you can hook it right back up there. The um, outlet hose not hose the cord the electrical cord um, appears to be about one two maybe maybe three to four feet long okay so there we go for that and that's of course on the back down towards the bottom okay now <clears throat> up here on the top we have where are you going to put your water, the inlet for the water, um, for both the washer and the spin cycle, so you can do a nice rinse, okay, for each one. And... This is the hose that goes for letting the water in. Now, <clears throat> there are, um, and this is supposed to fit right up to your kitchen faucet, just a small little faucet area. There are many attachments that you can get. I may need to get one before I can use it today, but if I can't use this, I can still add water in by the gallon um, by pouring it in. That will work just fine too until I get another attachment. Um, is that going to stay on very well? Okay, there we go. And there we go. Okay, so let's take a look at the inside of this thing. Um, so here's the washing machine. It's a nice deep tub and you pretty much just put everything in there and it will agitate one direction first and then the reverse direction second. Here's your timer for your washer, so it can go up to 15 minutes for washing. Um, and this is if you want soft, normal, or you're draining it. So if you want a soft load, a normal load, it's like delicates, normal, or if you're draining. Okay? And then the spin cycle has its timer as well, anywhere from 1 to 5 minutes for the spin cycle. And here's the in inside of the spin cycle has a second door and if I can get in there and get it. This guard goes on top of your clothing. I don't know why. Like right there. Okay. Okay. Let's I'll get it hooked up, get a load of laundry ready to go, and then we'll take a look at it all together. Be right back. Okay, so I have set up in my bathroom. The reason I've done that is because the um, actual drainage hose will drain into the bathtub. It will drain into the bathtub on this side. Um, as far as being able to use this to put water in it today, I won't be able to. I will have to use this to pour water in it today, um, which you can do. You can fill it by bucket or whatever you want to do as well. So I'll have to fill each side with water that way and then go ahead and drain it into the bathtub. Um, to rem Because the hose, one, it, for filling is too short. First of all, it's too short. Second of all, 
Um, it's not going to fit, of course, the bathtub nozzle, and it won't fit my sink nozzle for whatever reason, and it's not going to fit my shower head. So what I have to do is get a shower head splitter that, um, so remove the shower head and this little joint that's shaped like a V, okay, or a L, um, where water splits, okay. Um, and it, you can attach things on to each, each end of the letter. Um, so I can have my shower head on there and I can have a hookup for this. Um, and it will come with a hose as well and then I'll attach those two hoses. So that'll be great. Um, maybe I'll post an update picture or something when I get that if I do in time. Um, but yeah, I'll have to order that on Amazon this week. I did see them. They're like $9 to $15 to get that with a hose. So it'll be fine. Um, so first thing, we're going to do a small load. And I'm going to do one pair of jean shorts, a shirt, one, two, three, four, five shirts and a bra and that fills it about halfway full um, and once I get the water in there I'll show you that too but let me go ahead and show you that will fill it about half full so you can see it's about half full now um, and I'll fill the water level up and then we'll go ahead and set the timers let's get a good look at the top up here for you so here's what the top looks like you guys didn't get a good look at that before um, this over here is the, the draining hose that will hang over the side of the bathtub. Okay, super super nice to have that right conveniently there. Um, this is for water inlet to let water in. And the same on this side for the rinse cycle. This is the washing side and this is the rinse side. So there we go. It's a nice large tub. Okay, my whole arm all the way up to my elbow fits in there a little bit further. Um, and it's about that same width across, as you can see. So it's pretty large for what it does. Um, kind of durable lids, I like that. This is the timer and the settings for the washer. So you can see wash time goes up to 15 minutes. You select your cycle, normal, gentle, normal, or draining. And then here's your spin time, and then the water's for both. Okay, so I'll get busy filling this, and I'll check back in with you. Okay, so one last little thing. I was able to get this adapter working for the water inlet. All I did was attach one of those <laughs> to the top with by its handle and a twist tie at the very top um, and I removed the shower head tied it to there it pours into there now go straight into the water inlet so that's great I'll go ahead and show that to you Okay, so I did want to show you that it does come with a lint filter, which is right down there. That's the lint filter towards the back there. So that's cool as well. And we're going to go ahead and give it a start. Um, I've used about 10 of those bowls full of water and that just fills it up about halfway. I'm going to put it on the normal wash and I'm going to do it for about 12 minutes and see what happens. Wow, it seems pretty powerful. I guess it has to be closed. Look at that go. That's pretty nice, you guys. There's one direction. The next direction, 
And it's just going to go ahead and do that while you've got nine minutes. So we'll come back when this is done and we'll see how dirty this water is. Um, a couple of those shirts I wore a couple of times, so it'll be kind of grimy. We'll get right back to this. Okay, so the timer has stopped. Um, you can see that there. So we're going to go ahead and take a look. And there is the water. So you can see it's definitely gotten the clothes clean. It, it's done something. We'll see once they're finished. But now I'm going to go ahead and drain it. So for draining it, um, okay, I moved this over to drain. But first, let me get this into the bathtub. I'll set that on the bathtub. Hold on just a second. Okay, so after washing that and trying to do the drain cycle, as you can see, we moved it over to drain. I don't know if you can even read what I've got here. We moved it over to drain, and then we tried to drain it. I was having major difficulty trying to drain that with where it was at. So as you can see, we had to raise it up because this has to go into there. I mean, it didn't spill on the floor. It wasn't difficult like that, but it wasn't coming out. It will not push its way up. It will not push its way up and then out. It literally only goes over and down. So I had to make it level with the bathtub to do that. I had to use two cases, uh, four cases of Aquafina. Thank you, Aquafina. <laughs> so we got to build something for this or buy something that will help us um, get it to that height without using those water bottles but it's going to be great and I'll check back with, in with you guys in a second and show you the spin cycle okay so now I have finished washing and I have moved four shirts from this side so I've left um, a pair of jeans and a t-shirt in here but I have moved four shirts into here okay um, and then you put that on top close this lid close this lid and then set your spin time we'll do it for five minutes Let's see what happens wonderful. I'll get back with you guys in a second. And spinning. And let's see how dry the shirts got from spinning. Oh my gosh, let me show you. There's no moisture wringing out of these. None at all and no moisture on my hand. It's drier than some washing machines like at a laundromat, you guys. This is great. That's two, three, Four. no water in the bottom I mean I'm very happy the smell is fresh and clean and yeah I've got so it'll dry about four shirts at a time one pair of jeans at a time okay so it will dry about four pairs of shirts at a time it'll wash about five shirts and a pair of shorts or four shirts and a pair of jeans out of the same factory so um, I think they have the exact same specifications they have the exact same build and look I'm happy with it either way so I'm really thrilled so let me know what you guys think um, if you like it and give me a thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video blessed be thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like this video also, if you're looking for more, go ahead and click the image in the center. That'll take you to all my playlists. And you can find me on my social media in the description below.